Okay, so we're just going to look briefly at some of the types of questions and a way you might approach the square roots of perfect square module in Khan Academy. Here, we're finding the square root of 100. Now, you might just recognize right away, well, that's just 10. And with a lot of these, there are very few, I think, um, that will, will trip you up a little bit. Um, but I, I would make sure, first of all, that you're able to square the numbers 1 through at least, I would say, 15 or 16 um, for knowing your perfect squares. 1 through 15 is def definitely a must, right? Or 1 squared is 1, right? 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 squared is 25, right? 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, right? 10 squared is 100. Now that's our answer here because when you're finding the square root of 100, you're finding what number, right, squared equals 100. Well, that number is 10 because 10 squared is 100. So by definition, the square root of 100 is equal to 10. But we should keep going here with our, our quick reminder list for you. 11 squared is 121. 12 squared, right, is 144. 13 squared is 169. And 14 squared just reverses those digits. Instead of 169, you get 196 or 196. And 15 squared is 225. All right, those are definitely a must. Now, as you go through these activities, what I suggest, especially in the beginning when you're learning this, is to sketch a little square to remind yourself that what you're doing here is when you have the square root of 100, that means you're looking at a square, right? The word square root tells us that we're dealing with the shape of a square, where the area is 100, and the root is the side length, right? This, this number right here is the root, or the side, so the side equals the root because 10 times 10, the two roots, uh, the one root squared, gives you the area. This is the area. So really, when you're looking at these square roots, you're finding the side length of a square with the area right, that equals the number inside the, the square root or radical sign. So I would sketch these squares as you go through it to keep track and to keep that meaning attached to the problems you're solving. Thank you.